and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about another bike that has caught my eye. And that bike is the Road Warrior X2. So the Road Warrior X2 is another bike that comes from a company out of Canada. Fabulous e-bikes is their name. <clears throat> and what I like about this bike, well, there's a few things I like. First off, I like the fact that it's another 60 volt bike. And uh, I'm liking the fact that we're starting to see more bikes that are higher voltage to give us that little extra oomph, a little extra power. And this bike is no exception. It is a a 60 volt. I'm going to make my turn right here. Going up this hill. So the bike is a uh, 60 volt, it's a dual motor, which is another attraction. It's got dual 750 watt motors. And these motors are uh, also like 60 volt. Of course, the bike is 60 volt. And I don't know what the motors peak at. I couldn't see that. I didn't uh, notice it there. It may be on their site. I will leave a link in the descriptions so you can go and actually get a full uh, rundown on all the specs on the bike. I have a few that I uh, remember in my head that I'm highlighting for you, but if you want to look at the full uh, specs, just go to the site. I will leave a link in the description. But uh, let's see some other things that are on this bike. It's a, The motor, I should say, also has 100 newton meters of torque that's uh, each uh, front and rear they are geared hub motors uh, the bike is the style of a mountain slash cruise cruiser bike fat tires 26 by 4 inch they are Kenda tires The bike does come with fenders. Also, it does come with a rear rack. I could not find uh, the uh, weight limit on the uh, rack, but it might be there. I just may have overlooked it, but um, so I don't know that, but I do know the capacity weight for the bike is 350 pounds. The bike does have a 52 teeth uh, crank set. I don't know how many pedal assist levels. I don't remember how many it said, if, it, if I even saw that. The bike does come with fenders uh, as well. Uh, tail light, uh, headlight, I'm not sure about brake lights, I assume so, but we can never assume because you know what that means if we start assuming something. Uh, it does come with hydraulic disc brakes and a full suspension. Uh, choice of colors. It does come in black, red, or silver. Those are the three choices of color. Um,
personally I would probably take the black one this bike hopefully I'm not yelling at you I'm talking kind of loud because the wind is pretty strong here when I'm riding so I want to be able to make sure uh, that you can hear me okay anyway uh, the price let me give you the price on it so it is a Canadian bike so it's listing the price in Canadian dollars which is 3299 Canadian dollars if you convert that over today in uh, conversion rate for today that a uh, conversion would be uh, 2434 dollars US so I think personally a pretty good deal for a bike uh, that has these kind of uh, specs I think the comparable bike might be the wired freedom this may give it a run for its money now the wired freedom is listed at $21.99 but is currently running for $19.99 so that's about $450 less than this bike but uh, that's the closest match that I think you could have with uh, that I could find to match up with this I mean the other one you could I suppose you could kind of match up with it would be the Kepler but I think the 60 volt and the two uh, motors uh, I believe that would outdo the uh, Kepler I should mention the battery I failed to mention the battery the battery is a 60 volt 23.4 amp hour battery I'd probably prefer something around closer to 40 but if you got a, a larger battery it would probably hike the price up quite a bit a 40 amp would would bump the price at least 500 to 750 dollars more I'm sure so that would put the bike over over three grand US but I think it would be probably worth it uh, if it had a 40 amp hour battery but anyway uh, that is the bike and like I say, I will leave a link in the descriptions. A couple more things that come to mind. It does come with a color uh, display. That display does have a USB port. It does come with a cruise control, which I think would be handy. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I may have missed that I was uh, thinking about when uh, some of the specs that I look for on a bike I know unless you test ride it you never know for sure but I don't know how many people out, out there actually get to test ride unless you have a store near you that features a particular bike so those are some of the specs on that bike like I say, I will leave the link in the uh, descriptions. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for coming around, along for the ride. And if you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. That's appreciated. Thank you. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you're in. Your notify, notification will be turned on and you will be notified. And if you'd like to purchase the Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the description. And there is a discount code of $150 off. And that is Oregon e-biker Mark, all one word. That's Oregon e-biker Mark, saving you $150 on the bike. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time.
Take care.